What's up guys, welcome to another video of Teddyzilla and today we're going to answer the question is the TSX worth it in 2024? I know it's super weird that I'm doing this kind of video and not about my Mustang. I'm pointing this way because my, my Mustang's right there, but um, we'll get into that to a different video. If you would like to see something like that, comment down below. So we're just going to jump right into it. But the short answer is yes, it's definitely worth it. But I got my handy dandy notebook here, notepad, that have a list of why I think it is, right? So the first thing we will say is, uh, is the build quality. So I wasn't planning to get this car in the, in the first place. I was actually looking at a few European cars and a bunch of other cars I was looking into. If you want me to make a video about that, let me know, put it, put a comment down below. Just really quick, um, I got this, so this is a 06 TSX and it has 90,000 miles and I got it for nine grand, which is a pretty, Good deal for the mileage and the quality that it's in and one owner like it was no-brainer the reason why i got this car was because i was trying to replace my family car which was a crv 08 and so this is this platform is a little bit kind of the same but it's more in a sedan form but luxurious as well but anyways the the why i think are the positive is the qual build quality it's the luxury version of the t uh the tl the acura tl so there's the tl and the tsx that came out Around the same year, um, the TSX is supposed to be the luxurious version of it. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, the other thing is the reliability. So it does come with the K24 engine, which is one of the most, um, one of the best engine that Honda's ever made, most reliable as well. Uh, it does have VTEC, which is amazing, naturally aspirated, 2.4 liter. Um, it's, it's an amazing engine. And, and I, got, I can attest to how good it is because on my CRV it has 248,000 miles and it's still running and every other part around it is falling apart. Um, so as long as the engine's fine, the car will run and be okay. The other thing I wanna say also is gas mileage. So gas mileage on this car is pretty good, but you do gotta use premium. It's 20 in a city, 31 highway, combination's 23, okay? Which is, which kind of interesting because on my CRV I get 21, as I'm driving this now, I'm getting 26. So it really depends on how you're driving, but the gas mileage on it can't beat it. On my Mustang GT, I get about 18 miles per gallon. So here you have it. So mileage, I think is amazing. A few things that surprised me. So one thing you should know about the TSX, it doesn't have trims. So the TSX just came on it. Like <clears throat> you either get a TSX or a TL at the time, right? So the TSX had everything. It was supposed to be fully loaded and um, so you get heated seats, you get heated side mi side mirrors, which is what surprised me. Uh, you have side markers, uh, or side mirror markers. Uh, you have power seat on both sides, which is also surprising to me. <clears throat> on my Mustang GT, that's fully loaded. Um, it only has power seat on the driver's side, which is, yeah, interesting nonetheless. <clears throat> it does have shiftable auto, so I did opt for the auto, um, I think, I mean, I love manuals as the next person and had my share of manuals and they are pretty fun. Um, but as a replacement for a family car, I didn't want to have to deal with, you know, with the clutch and the perk, right? Like this is a shiftable auto and it's pretty fun. And you can definitely feel the VTEC as you're shifting at a higher, um, uh, uh, higher, higher, I can't think of it. Higher RPMs, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Okay, next thing. The steering wheel control, pretty cool. Uh, it has leather interior. The, the leather seats on it, they're amazing. Uh, it has amazing sound uh, all around. It has deep bass, which I was actually pretty surprised how good the sound was. Even though the car doesn't have Bluetooth, I did end up getting this Bluetooth to AUX uh, from Amazon. Um, I'll share a link on this video. Uh, please get it there. <laughs> um, I do get a little bit of credit from it. But I also uh, got this CD phone holder. Um, so I have the have the the fold the Z fold. Um, and so these, this is actually two product in one. Um, I'll share a link as well on my on this video. Something similar to it. So let's test out the sound. So I want you guys to be able to hear it. And hear that right there it's hard to pick it up on mic but I hope you know it, it, it's good enough to generate how good it actually is 
Anyways, that's it for this. He has sunroof and moonroof. He has a pretty spacious trunk. He has a garage controller. And then the best part about this car, aside from being, you know, like pretty, um, pretty ideal uh, daily driver, it has a lot of mods that you can opt for. <laughs> Not to say like, I'm gonna jump into mods. Of course, it's gonna take a little bit of time to do that, but, <laughs> and I wanna try to keep it stock as long as possible, but. So the mods, um, it's actually fairly, um, the interesting part I, I found about the mods was that, it's actually not as pricey as it is when you're buying parts for the Mustang, which is blowing, you know, blowing my mind. Uh, yeah, the mods and the amount of community you get with it, I think it's another positive, right? Because if you run into problems with repairs, like you will know where to find those issues. And one of the things I'm actually struggling with right now with this one that came with it was the the driver's side actuator was out and I ordered, ordered the parts already, it's like 50 bucks but I'll do the work on my own because there is a lot of support around it already. So those are the positive things. So we'll jump into a negative right here. So TSX was actually, there's two generations. Okay, so there's first gen 04, 08, and then you have the second gen 09, 2014, okay? None, any, any time you get a TSX, you're gonna get an older model. Like, let's just face the truth, right? Like it was discontinued. I think the, the thing that, thing that people don't realize that this car is definitely underrated like there's a lot of things it has to offer um, but of course it got axed um, I think it got axed because it had to make way for the ILX and the TLX correct me if I'm wrong again put comment down below but it is older so it's 06 um, it's 18 years old <laughs> you'll have you know like your regular paint stuff and things worn out it doesn't have Bluetooth it has um, uh, wireless free calling or free free hand free hands or something. I haven't set it up because yeah, it's all by voice and, and you have to have the car stop too. So that's I didn't really like that feature on there. No rear vents. My CRV didn't have it either, but a lot of current mid mid size uh, sedans these days they have um, rear vents, uh, but this one doesn't. So that sucks. Um, five speed, so there is a six speed manual also that comes with, or that you can opt for with the TSX, but these days, the manual ones are gonna be hard to find. Uh, like I said, for me, it didn't work for me, um, or it wasn't something I was looking for because I don't think it would have been uh, ideal because it is a family car. But for someone that's looking for a manual version of this car, you're looking at maybe like 12,000 to like, 14,000 with over 150,000 miles on a car like this. Like, it's not bad. It'll run you like for a while, right? Because the engines are known to run 250,000 miles as long as you, or 300,000, whatever, who's counting? It's pretty high up there, but you are gonna, um, you are gonna run into buying a manual for higher price just because they're in higher demand. Also, like I mentioned, right? It does have shippable auto, which is, Kind of like it, no clutch, but hey, you know, you get what you get. But the other part that's not good about it is front wheel drive. So I am from Washington and it does rain out here a lot, but front wheel drive just means better gas generally. Most Hondas are made with front wheel drive, uh, unless like it's a CRV or Pilot or something. <clears throat> but um, the front wheel drive isn't so bad really. I've, I've had my, I have, I've had my fair share of uh, front wheel drive here in Washington, and really the most important part is just your tires, which is another thing that draw me into this car is because the tires are fairly new. It is a compact car, but the trunk space is ridiculously huge for some reason. And the last thing that I wrote on here was no rear view camera. So when you're reversing, no camera. So you kind of have to use you know, old fashioned eyeballs and side mirrors to know where you're parking. But that's pretty much it. That's basically what I have on this list that I wrote down. I think that, were, that weren't so good about this car, but I think overall in 2024, I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you can get a, a car like this, less than 100,000 miles, and then also less than 10,000. Um, so around like the price point I got it was nine grand with 90,000 miles. So let me know if that is a good price. So far I've heard on Reddit, it, 
I could do, I could have done better. But honestly, I think being one owner and it's like literally almost like it's new, like kind of sold me on it. Anyways, if you're interested in wanting me to make a video about like what other cars I was looking into or videos about my Mustang, um, comment below. The other videos I'm gonna be making are gonna be, you know, just surrounding this car for now. I am going, I am planning to create another video, but uh, walk around my Mustang, kind of just share like what mods I have on there. But other than that, yeah, that's the video. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.